The chosen scripture for today's meditation is Jeremiah 33, 6-11, which is a promise of restoration. Most of us are familiar with an option of restore in our phones and computers which involves a process of recovering, backing up and rebooting. Have you checked out this inbuilt option of restoration which has been pre-installed in you by your creator? We are never too badly broken or damaged for God to reshape. He doesn't maintain a backup of our imperfections and past mistakes. Even when we go astray, He desires to restore and make us beautiful in His image. A father wanted to read a magazine but was being bothered by his little daughter. To keep her busy, he tore a sheet of the magazine on which was printed the map of a country. Tearing the sheet into smaller pieces, he gave it to her and said, Go into the other room and see if you can put this together, knowing well that his five-year-old wouldn't be able to. After a few minutes, she returned and handed him the map correctly fitted together. The father was surprised and asked how she had finished so quickly. She replied, On the other side of the sheet is a picture of Jesus. When I placed all of Jesus where he belonged, the rest fell in place. Sometimes, the Lord gives us trials in our lives so that we take time to cultivate our relationship with him. When our relationship with God is right, all other relationships on earth fall in place. The deeper we go in our relationship with God, the more He widens our sphere of influence. Naomi's life is a beautiful story of restoration which assures us that if God brings us to it, He will definitely bring us through it. His love endures forever. And that is why he restores our soul which can be stamped on others as a seal of oneness through unconditional love. Let one of our Lenten taglines be, By his stripes we are healed. Let us pray. Almighty God, help us to examine our relationship with you and restore and heal us with your love and mercy. Enable us to entrust ourselves to you by meditating and bearing the cross each day. We ask in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen.